We asked some of our leaders from missional communities, campus missions, and church plants to share with us stories of transformation from folks inside of their communities. Here are just a few. Since becoming a part of the Episcopal Student Center at Baylor University, I've discovered that it's really okay to be yourself and to just really not care what anybody else thinks and that God is there for you and Jesus is there for you all the time. They've got your back and everything's gonna be okay in the end. I wouldn't have been here without the faith and love of my church family, St. Stephen's of Plentsville. Their love has pushed me to be a part of Houston Canterbury, to be a part of the Episcopal Service Corps, and to see, to be a part of this great diocese, the great work that this diocese is doing uh, locally and nationally and globally. And so without their love and support, I would have been stuck, you know, stuck and, you know, hopeless. So they are a beacon on a hill, honestly, and I'm a testimony of that. Ever since I've been going to St. Mary Magdalene in 2014, I've never felt so much a part of a church community, nor have I been so active in a church community in my life. Um, thanks to the love and support of Father Alex and the St. Mary Magdalene community, I am now pursuing my second master's degree in mental health counseling at the Seminary of the Southwest. So I'm extremely grateful for Father Alex. There's the love and support that I receive at St. Mary Magdalene for helping me reach this transformation in my life. I have been at Baylor for two and a half years now, and I, for the longest time, I had not had a church home or anywhere where I would really fit in with the evangelical churches where I'd been in all my life at Baylor. And I started looking for somewhere I could have a good Bible study after getting inspired one day and found the Episcopal Church, and it has been a, an amazing blessing for my life, and it's really I've become a home for me. I really lost faith that the institutional church could do good things in this world, and in the Episcopal Church, I found a place where that existed and have a home now. For 47 years, I've been running from God, but through so many trials and tribulations, I've survived. Uh, things that would have killed most people, I've survived. But I wanna, I'm here to tell you today, about a situation that came up over the last few months. I met uh, Father David, uh, not by accident, by, but by destiny. God had his hand in When he told me he was starting his church, um, I came in, I listened, and I've been back ever since, almost every prayer meeting, every Sunday. God has shown me the blessings that he has rained down, that he can rain down on me. The most thing he gave me was peace. The peace and the ability to start forgiving those who have done me and hurt me. Which is the big one. But he also gave me people who knew nothing about me that I can trust and truly call for him. So, in my transformation from fighting God to being a warrior for God. I did I asked Father David, not for any specific position in this church as it grows, but wherever he needs me, I will go. To do whatever I need to do to be a part of helping him to succeed. I just let what was in here come out, and this is the things that I've told y'all. Y'all were there for me. You know, and I, what I said earlier when I said, we got this whole group of white folks and I'm not a black person anymore. But nobody in there sees race. And I'm getting hugs and kisses from all of these people. You know, and we got gay, straight, you know, trans, you know, all these different stuff. And everybody is treated as equal as they can be. You know, and so that's to me is the epitome of the church. So I was an atheist and um, I went through some big losses recently. I lost uh, 
a friend, I lost family members, I lost uh, my job, um, and that was my identity. And uh, I started searching for community and, and honestly for God. And I reached out to uh, Father David, who invited me to morning prayer, and I've been attending uh, every morning for about three months. not really doing a whole lot better. Uh, at least, you know, not physically, I'm not, I don't have my job back. But um, I'm happier because I'm part of something. Uh, I'm part of a community. And I, I feel like God will hold me for a purpose. 